Hello, it's Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk. I'm sure you're all wondering, is it possible to get inside a GoPro Hero 7 Silver Edition? Well, yes, but it might be a bit limited what you can do once you're inside. So, I'll show you how to do it. Firstly, um, I've got the front off it here. I'll put the front back on. This bit's quite easy. This kind of slightly bendy plastic stuff. If you just get the bottom corner underneath the lens, put in just like a dining knife or something and just gently ease this off. It's just glued on with some kind of sticky glue type stuff. And you can gradually get this front off. And that'll just peel off. And it's not connected in any way. There's no electronics on there. So that bit's nice and easy. You can see I've taken this apart already. Next, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six um, Torx bolts around the edge. And they appear to be a Torx 4 size. A few of them I couldn't get a decent purchase on, so I've used this tiny chisel tip thing, which will also work just about, but it might end up damaging the tops of the bolts. The trickiest bit is the corner of this lens. The, the, um, the lens housing is over the Torx bolt, so you can't get to it. This is a really bodgy way of doing it, and it's not the best way, I'm sure, but I couldn't find out a better way. So if anyone tells me a better way of doing this, I'll put it in the comments. So I ended up using a grinder tool. Like a, This isn't a Dremel, it's a much cheaper copier, but this worked very nicely. I just buzzed away at the edge there and made a space to fit my screwdriver so then I could reach the um, the torque spot under there and undo that and the reason I got tape all over this glass here was because I, I was originally trying to file this off with a file and I ended up putting a couple of cracks in the glass which hopefully aren't visible from the lens so put tape over that first before we do any grinding or filing and there's a better chance that you won't end up cracking the glass because that's just going to ruin the camera. Okay, um, once all these six are out, it's just a matter then of just some gentle levering around the edge and you can get this whole lot off. These two are connected, so you've got the battery in the back there. You may well be able to replace the battery using this method, so this might be useful to you if you're trying to do that. I suspected I had a wobbly power input, which might turn out not to be the case after all. Um, I did take out all the screws I could find here. Here you've got, you can probably see, normal Phillips screws in here, so it's clearly you've got past the, <laughs> the security, as it were, and into places where there's just normal screws. There's a couple of Torx screws at the other end as well, but even though I've taken all of those off, this seems, seems to be pretty indelibly connected to the metal base plate. So I couldn't get any further than this. Also, take care not to dislodge the waterproof seal stuff. If anyone comments anything in the comments to, to say that you can do more, then I'll add that to the description. So have a look at the description, see if there's any extra information. And there's all the information about the battery it's got at the moment, if that might be useful to you. I'll put it the right way up. Oh, 2018. That's how old this thing is. This is five years old. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped you a little bit.